Well, when we look at foldable devices today, we think it's very early days. Um, the initial devices are prototyping with plastic, and we think they're going to face some challenges. Plastic will warp, it will craze or crease, and you're going to have scratch issues. Um, that said, we're not ready with glass solutions yet. We have some things in, uh, in development that we're very excited about, and probably end of this year into next year, we'll start to bring those to the market. I think longer term, glass will be the answer for foldables, not plastic and I think we'll be ready to intercept the market as these things start to go into the mainstream over time. Well, what you see with phones, they're, they're going thinner, 3D designs, more glass, glass in the back to enable wireless charging and RF transparency. All these trends require the glass to be better for drop, more damage resistant. So it really plays to our strength because we're the uh, innovative leader. We always lead with the best glass. So all the trends we're seeing um, need better glass, better drop performance glass. So we recently launched Gorilla Glass 6, uh, July of last year, and we have a couple more generations already in our lab um, for future announcement. So a lot of the trends we see in wearable are similar in handheld. People want scratch resistance, damage resistance, and also low reflection. Um, so we always lead with the best glass, but we also have this new class of composite coatings called uh, Corning Gorilla Glass DX Plus, stands for durable optics. Very, very low reflection, scratch approaching sapphire. So it's outstanding, the blacks are very black when the display is off, when it's on you see more vibrant colors, you see um, better contrast ratio, better brightness. We've sold this product on wearables today for Samsung and we're now seeing interest in the handheld space for the same technology. Well with social media today there's nothing unheard, so everything that people are hearing on social media are the same things we hear from our customers and the end consumers, which they want longer battery life, they want um, low reflection devices, they want more durable devices, and we're working on all of these trends. We can't share actual revenue data. What I can tell you is uh, the smartphone industry is somewhat flat now, but India is the one region in the world that's actually growing because you have about 325 smartphone users and you have another 475 people with no phones at all, and then in the middle about 400 and, uh, or, I'm sorry, 540 million people with feature phones will be transitioning to smartphones over time. So it's a tremendously exciting market and we're actually tailoring our offerings uh, for um, the brands who are looking to participate in the Indian market. Now we see that the trends in India similar to trends in, in other regions, whether it's the US or China or other, other markets. People tend to want the same thing on their devices. They want scratch resistance, damage resistance, longer battery life, better optics, uh, more design flexibility. So these are all trends that Corning is supporting. Now we do get very close to our OEM partners in India to see what they want their phones to do and tailor our glass offerings, but at the highest level the design trends we see are very similar throughout the world.